Good. We're golden. We're on. We're live. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta go fast. Okay, so is it? No, it is actually is A and B button. Holy God! Here we go. Hey guys, who's gonna be here first? Ninety-nine percent sure I uh, powered on knock spot too. So what's up, Jake? Welcome in, dude. Happy Sunday Fun Day. Is that what they call it now? Marshifu. Hello, hello. Oh my god, that was close. I literally almost lost my tail feather. Tail feather? Yeah. What's up, Sam? Hey, Chris. What's up, my dude? Good morning to some of you guys. Some of you guys are still in the AM right now. So some of you guys are still in the AM, not everyone. Some of you are in the afternoon. Time zones are funny. And the queen's watching. Let's all behave, guys and gals. Hello. I'm going to turn myself a little more this way. I like the angle better. I might re-angle my, com my camera. I'm going to say computer. Definitely don't need to angle my computer to play this like this. Thank you for the likes. What's up, Juan? Ding, 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 ding. Ding. She's very happy she didn't have to change stickers at all today. Very happy. What's up, Steve? Welcome in, dude. Hope you guys and gals have had a good start to your Sunday. It's a super duper chill Sunday, right? Right. I just realized there's two blocks there in this one. Oh, they changed some stuff. I didn't even realize that. Get in that pipe right there. Hello, Froppy. Welcome into the stream. Oh, you know what I did? Because I got mashed potatoes for brains. I meant to put this up here. There we go. I'm going to try that. Hopefully that works. All right. Watching from Dubai. Well, what time is in Dubai? I think you guys are like eight, seven, eight hours ahead of us. Your WhatsApp, Juan, I don't want your WhatsApp. But thank you for that though, I think. I definitely don't use WhatsApp. I don't need viruses on my phone. Hey, Victor, what's up, man? Been dealing with a lot of family stuff lately. Oh, I get it. I totally understand. I hope you're doing okay though, Froppy. Otherwise. But it's good to see you on the stream. What's up, David? I promise, David. Tuesday, we'll play Mario again. I like playing Mario. Yeah, yeah, Another good friend headed home earlier this evening. Wait, wait. Just found out another good friend headed home earlier this morning. Oh, wait, what happened? Thank you, Chris. The 11 stars, man. I see a lot of new faces in here. Welcome in. Hey, Daniel. What's up, man? Brendan, what's up, man? 1434 days, man. You've been following this page a long time, dude. Da, 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 da. Yeah, guys, if I ever have to remind you, please don't ever click on links and stuff you see in the chat. That's just asking for trouble. All the troubles. Francisco, welcome in. What's up, Mackie? I'm playing this one today because unfortunately, Nintendo hasn't worked out the kinks of working this game with two players online. Very sus. So, play Doom 64? Uh, I do, Daniel. But only on subscriber streams. You can't come in here and demand what game I play, sir. I think he just couldn't handle all the crap that's been going on since his mom passed. Oh. Done and done. Thank you, Marshy Fu. Appreciate it. What's up, Leonard? How's it going, buddy? Plus, this is the Mario game who's online can lag multiplayer. That's true. Yeah. So, maybe we'll play the NES version on Tuesday. We rarely play that one, sir. What's up, Michi? How's it going, man? I help. Stage four. I don't want to be stage four. Stage four doesn't belong in this world. I don't know why it's here. Mac Attack 2. Calm. Thick. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Play Mario 3. Wait, you are. Hey, Michael. What's up, man? What's up, Ty? Oh, see, I always forget that they changed some of these. They changed the block types so that it's easier to jump on them and all that. Don't play Super Mario Brothers 3 easy mode. You'll play this one. For show. Sure. Oh boy. I got how much they have to like zoom in on the screen too. Gelato was where it's at, to be honest. Oh, you're going to slap around Gelato. Hey, Ben, what's up, man? 1 900 909 9900. <laughs> that is for show. Sure. What's up, Kashan? Welcome in. 
Yeah, this is a much shorter jump here too. Much shorter. They made this one easier for kids. Oh, absolutely. Well, so the other side of it is too, they made it easier so that it's um because of the smaller screen too. So they had to. Looking sharp, good sir. Well, thank you, sir. My hair's a little funky in the front. I got little wild hairs on the front. Now my hands are gonna get blue. Hey James, what's up, man? How are you, sir? Mm, I don't think I got that one. Oh, wait, wait. I don't know if I got that one. Damn. Damn. Almost had it. Hi, hi, hi. What's up, Viper? Welcome in, dude. So I don't know if you answered my question, sir, in the Discord. I asked about Overcooked. Is it, um... Is it crossplay? I don't think it is, but Damn! very close. I'm getting that one. Oh my god, I'm almost on the lava right there. Give me that. Gotcha. Come back here. Blue is the blue. Bat blast is blue. Oh Jesus! I should have never. I should have waited on that. Hey Scott, what's going on, buddy? How are you today on this wonderful Sunday? The Japanese version, the block is right here. It's not all the way at the end. They made it easier for us. Whistle. Nope, no whistle. Overcooked one is cross plat for everyone, I think. Oh. So I'm guessing two is better. Oh yeah, I did miss it. I wasn't able to check Discord after I left it earlier, so. Now I'm curious. So what do you do in that game though? What do you do in that game? Save your progress? Yes. Always save it. What's up, you mother suckers? Rello! What's going on, my dude? How are you, man? Are you off today? Finally got like a few minutes to breathe. Whistle is not on the Switch version unless I missed it. No, it is. They're all there. I just don't like getting the whistle. I never like getting the whistles. Oh man, how did I guess that? Okay, I was gonna say, oh my gosh. I, I am the hype! Oh no, no, no. Did not want that one. Thank you for the hype, sir. Okay, you can see how the screen scrolls. It's gotta make up for the difference on the smaller screen. Pretty much cooking in a time format, but as you as you get further, it gets chaotic. Oh okay. I'm gonna have to look into that in the future. Good day, everyone. I will also, um, I also want to play that Mario Golf Super Rush, because now me, Ryan, and Pascal have that game. So I think that'd be a fun golf game to play. I guess that's the easy part, is it's only on the Switch. So <sighs> Uncle uh, is on his deathbed, and cops got called yesterday because of my cousins getting into it. Oh, just living with the baby. I'm off on Sundays. Yeah, that's pretty heavy to deal with, Proppy. I'm sorry. It sucks. It's even worse when it's family, you know? So, what's up, Casey? Chilling with the baby. That's good. Good, man. Finally off. Because, uh, you're always working. Mm. Dean, what's up, man? Welcome in. Hello, hello. Don't die at all in World 1, Mario. I feel like I just jinxed myself now. <laughs> Much larger platform there, too. Thank you, Dean, for the likes. I appreciate it, man. How am I doing? Man, I'm all right. I can't complain. I guess I, if I did, then who would listen to me? You know, I don't want to do that to you guys. Always busy. Wilson, welcome in. Saludos. <gasps> Give me that. Let's get two new subbers. Yeah. Make sure you guys are staying subscribed so you can catch all of the uh, non-public <clears throat> streams. We had a blast yesterday playing Resi 3. I had a couple jump scares. I was like, mother trucker. One was Nemesis. The other one I think was a zombie that jumped around the corner. That's what it was. Yeah. Two subbies. I mean, a sub does sound pretty good right now. Those air fryer wings were good last night too. What's up, Jeff? I still haven't figured out what we're gonna do for a subscriber giveaway though. Gotta do that. I lost my damn Tanuki tail. 
Fancy description? Custard with fish fingers. Fish have fingers? <laughs> hey, Carlos. You can get a cup of noodles with your beef and bean burrito on the counter. Hash <laughs> brown patties for breakfast? Ooh, yummy. We had a... It was scrambled eggs with some vegetables, uh, peppers and onions, and it was almost like salsa, but it didn't have like the tomato sauce to it, you know? Gelato's the only way. Well, Nemesis is scary as hell banging down doors. That's true. He got me once. I was inside the, the donut shop. It was when I was streaming it, and I went to the donut shop, and Ryan was literally asking me, can he get you inside the building? I said, no, 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 no. And as I was saying, no, 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 no. He opened the damn door and started chasing me around the donut shop. So, yeah. Yeah. I was dead on my post. You can't. <laughs> yo, yo, can you hey, man, can you take me to the corner store? <laughs> oh, man. I swear, man. Some of the stuff I come up with. I cheated with the fast route. I used the air fryer. Hell yeah, man. To make the best salmon hash brown patties and he never showed us how to make them oh he took it to the grave with him man those are the best recipes you'll never be able to replicate it dude it seriously was as in the middle of me saying no no i saw him open that door and crawl underneath the, the overhang i was like no he's not and ryan just died laughing dude what's up egbert how are you this evening man good job mario you did it it's still laughing about my weed picking speed run. That was hilarious. Just watching you run around and pick up every single weed on the ground. Oh, man. What's up, Jake? That old fart still kicking. He won't tell us. Oh, okay. Well, even better. He's going to take it to the grave with him. <laughs> oh, man. It was good stuff, man. I just defeated him on his... That form where he turns into like that big monster looking dog thing or whatever. And he's running around the buildings and you have to throw the mines or the grenade mine grenades at him. I just did that. That was the last major boss fight I had. So get that wound. So I'm good today. Happy birthday. It's your birthday? Oh, whose birthday is it? Is it Dean's birthday? No way. Oh, yo, everyone, drop some cake in the chat for Dean. It's his birthday. Damn. My father made the best gumbo, but I only got a part of his recipe. Mmm. So that means that you had to fill in the rest. This is grandpa's recipe, so I guess it's okay if you don't want to tell us. We just got a stash of cam in the kitchen one time when he was making <laughs> all the birthday cake for Dean. Oh, yeah, my dude. I'm all about that cake. Happy birthday to Dean. Do -do 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 -do. We played a few rounds of uh, Fortnite last night on the Discord, guys, for, with the subscribers. It was me, Pascal, Peter... Tim joined us. It was us four, and then Ruben was there hanging out with us for a bit. Just shooting the shiz. What's up, Edmo? Super Mario Bros. 3 came out, and the Chips Ahoy was doing a promotion. Oh, really? Oh, man, I don't remember that. Eat cookies, win a video game. I mean, cookies and video games go together like, I don't know, bread and butter. Also, I'll say it again, Mrs. Blast. Cookies and video games go together really well. I'm gonna see if Mrs. Blast can bring me some uh, cookies. I got the these these cookies from Publix yesterday. They, they have Heath Bar in them. My God, they're so good. What's up, Robert? Yo, what up, kid? I don't like Heath Bar on its own, but the cookies that Publix sells with Heath Bar in them, oh my God, they're so good. They're amazing. I gotta catch up with y'all one day. There's been so much going on. I totally get it, my dude. It'd be awesome to have you in that game. Hang out with us. Cookies where? In the kitchen, man. Today is my birthday. Get him some cookies. This is Blast. <laughs> I don't know if she's listening right now. Probably not. Yo, what up, my Smigga? All right, let's see if I can get this. Star. Fudge. All right. Yes, I remember that one. Damn, close. I got these cookies, man. A chocolate chip cookies man <laughs> what was he yeah man i still i play that now too do it on the sub streams it's super chill we all just do the shit and just whatever cookies and video games go well yeah just like fries dipped in a frosty <gasps> it's awful i don't know how you guys do it i don't know how and i'm gonna say it, you people do it 
Walmart has some good cookies in the bakery. Do they really? I don't know if I've ever had a Walmart cookies in the bakery. I used to get them at Publix. Your Viper here got a win this morning. Damn, it's raining here. Not as bad as y'all. Yo, it was bad yesterday. We had two huge cells come through here yesterday. And uh, it was nice, though. We didn't have any thunder or lightning. So I'm, I'm okay with that. How do you still hate it after trying it? I just, it's, I don't like it. That's like me saying, yo, I really hate fruitcake. And then all of a sudden I try it and I like it. No, I still hate it. Trust me. We proposed a, uh, a, a pie to the face challenge, guys. If I, uh, if we hit the star goal this month, Mrs. Blast will do a live stream of just on me because, you know, I'm, I'm just the butt of every joke. So what do you mean, you people? <laughs> exactly how I said it. You really think vanilla would have made a damn difference? Dipping potatoes with salt all over them into the freaking frosty? Nah, man, you crazy. No, 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 no. Yes, that's what it was, Mackie. I mean, I get it with fruitcake, but fries and a frosty? No, man, I just can't. There's nothing enjoyable about it. There really isn't. I don't know how you guys do it. You can eat fruitcake with chocolate syrup? Oh, I don't think chocolate syrup could save fruitcake. I don't know about that, Scott. Can't do it, man. That'll be a sight to see. Smega! Big Mac and a banana milkshake. That's the go-to. It's the go-to if you want to have uh, tummy aches the whole day. <laughs> banana cream pies. Those are actually really good. What up, queen? All the queens are here right now. At least three of them that I'm aware of. I'll just stick with my Heath Bar cookies. How about that, guys? Heath Bar is not even really like my favorite cookie or candy, I mean, candy bar. But them cookies, they're fire. They're so good. I never understood the hype of Fries and Frosty. I... I don't know. Go pull up on the drive through and I used to work at Wendy's. I'm like, can I get a, a medium fry and a small frosty? And I would literally just go, oh my God. <laughs> I was fine with my banana milkshake Big Mac. Ugh. You guys don't have Wendy's in the UK, do you? I don't think you guys do. You just have McDonald's and you guys even have Arby's in the UK. I know you guys got Subway. Size animal products, I wouldn't, I would eat anything. <laughs> That's for you JoJo fans out there. What's up, Queen Ashley? I hated working drive through McDonald's. Yo, people come in with the craziest ideas for shit. I swear, man. Like, you eat that? Like, how? I've been lurking. How's everyone today? Girl, I'll be lurking. Get your ass over here and say hello. Oh, no. Almost lost that one. I used to eat strawberry milkshake with plain chips. Oh, no. Was that just because you liked it or because when you were pregnant with the kids? Because um, Mrs. Blast, I don't know if she ever ate anything funky. I don't remember. She could probably tell you stories for days, but I don't know. Ah. Olives and avocados, durian. I don't know about durian. Oh, no. I mean, I guess if you want to eat fruit that smells like farts, right? That's cool. <clears throat> Wait, what is that? What is, is that David? Or drink a fruit or a flavored fruit cake Mountain Dew for a challenge? Oh, no, 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 no. So gross. Arby's is basura. I don't think it's that bad. It's just expensive, man. Cause I liked it. Oh, it's just cause you liked it. When I was pregnant with Carson, all I wanted was chocolate milk and cheesecake. Y'all, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> she wanted the dairy. Oh, she dared to go dairy. So bad. Oh, oh. Roots that smell like farts. That's plenty of protein right there. Ugh. When I was pregnant, I ate lasagna and strawberry ice cream. Oh, oh, how could you? No, nah, that's not right. Is this 10 coins? I think it was one to the left. Eat it in the bathroom. Ugh. It's not right. Now, my daughter now, she literally loves everything sugar. Loves ice cream. She doesn't like pie, though. I don't understand There's why there's people out there who don't like pie. 
They don't like pie? She doesn't like soup. Y'all who don't like pie or soup are out of your minds. I tell her that all the time. She's like, no, I just don't like it. It doesn't taste good. <laughs> she was little? She ate everything. She didn't care what it was. Now she's an adult? Ew, I don't like that. Ew, that's so gross. Ew, I don't want that. Like, what? You had me until you said on top. Oh, Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Did she really say that? I don't know why little one was thinking, making me crave that. I don't know either. We see, did we finish Mario 3D World? No, we haven't. No, I, uh, I don't know if we finished it. I think we did when we went back and I was trying to get all of the, um, the star coins, I think it was. Oh, fudge, fudge ruckers. Damn it. Carson is picky. See, all these kids like to eat nothing. Soup is basura. Oh my God, Mackie. No, it's not. I don't like pie unless you're talking about pizza pie. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It's pie crust and fruit on the inside. Is it a texture thing or is it because you've never eaten good pie? And God, for the love of God, please don't take that in a gross way, guys. I'm literally trying to like talk about food here, not, not that. What is it? The menu is this one, that's right. Like actual, I eat ramen soup with peanut butter. No, you don't, Scott. Pie is life. Pie is life. I had ice cream on top of my lasagna. How the hell? What? Yes, you were trying to get all the star coins. That's what it was. Every single one of you. I swear to God, man. The the dirty mindset, I swear. <laughs> Good pie. I can't even go into a relo because they all got dirty minds. Like, I can't say nothing without you guys going. <laughs> I got my entire chat is literally Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> he said good pie. <laughs> it all goes to the same place. Yeah, it, I mean, in the end, it does. Yeah. What happened when you said good pie? I know. There's a reason why I no longer eat pickles. I loved him. I love them so much. And now the smell is. Oh, really? see that though because you, if you ate them all the time that makes sense you just get sick of them see i'm the opposite i was a dumb kid who ate uh all of the uh an entire box of twinkies and i was a kid and now i won't touch them as an adult i traumatized myself don't care for pie but hershey pies from burger king are fire boing, boing, boing. <laughs> yeah yeah yo Whoa. hey butthead <laughs> <laughs> Cream pie is the best pie. Oh, I bet it is. Oh, you boomerang throwing mother trucker. We got him now. The only pie, dirty pie is the pie that the rock serves. Oh my God. Uh, all right. So I need star power. Yeah. i run through this guy. Damn it, Beavis. Damn it, Beavis. Cut it out. <laughs> Was it, uh, I saw an episode at least part of it where I think it was Budhead. He was always like smacking Beavis, which he does in every episode, but he started taking a uh, medication to make himself calm down. He was getting all lovey dovey and all that stuff. And Beavis was like, like jumping all the time. He's like, what are you doing? Why are you jumping? He's like, cause I thought you were going to hit me. He's like, I have no reason to hit you. And it was just a funny episode because yeah, it literally that type of stuff just messes with your brain chemicals. He was so afraid of him, and then he started getting tired of him not being mean to him. It's just weird. An angry dragon beats a cream pie any day of the week. On, oh my dear word, clutch pearls. Yeah, that, okay, so this is what they do. This is what they do. I, I don't control any of that. They just immediately go straight to the gutter every time. So, get your people under control here. You're looking for the great. <laughs> I'm looking for the great Cornholio. <laughs> Funny show, ridiculously stupid video games. Like, video games are just bad. I don't like them at all. Movie was still great. How they met their dads in the desert. Oh yeah, I remember that. Lucky. Was that the one? Um, the original one, right? Beavis and Butthead do America. Gotcha. I think that's the one you're thinking of. Beavis was freaking out, yeah, when Beavis thought he had rabies. I don't know what it is about that damn show, man. Gotcha. That was a show I definitely wasn't allowed to watch as a kid, but... 
You put cable in my room as a kid. I'm going to watch whatever the hell I want. So 10 p.m. MTV. 10 p.m. South Park. Well, no. No, I was okay to watch South Park. I was already a teenager when that came out. So are you threatening me? I am the great Cornholio. I need TP for my bunghole. Bunghole. <laughs> I can't do his voice very well, but I try. So hey, Marston, what's up, man? <sighs> yeah, Beavis and Butthead do America. Yeah, that's actually a good movie. What about the Beavis? Thought he was pregnant. See, that's stupid stuff, man. <sighs> Got this. Because they thought it was a cactus, and at least them idiots knew there was water in a cactus. Yeah. I remember. Love that show, Beavis and Butthead's Life. It was, man. Like I said, as a kid, I was never allowed to watch it, but I'm a kid. I'm going to watch Beavis and Butthead if I got cable in my room. So I liked it for their reactions to the music videos. That's true, too. A lot of people didn't really care for the show, but they liked the music. Now it's like they don't even do music videos on there anymore because nobody makes music videos. So, What's up, Dave? Hey, Axel, what's going on, my dude? Uh, let's see. I like stupid comedy like that. I don't have to think twice about it. It's just funny and I can go her to dur dur. <laughs> my parents let me see do do America in theaters. Really? Yeah, no, no, they didn't let me watch that. My dad was like, nah, we had to watch cable in the front room. My parents didn't trust us. So it was a challenge watching scrambled spice channel in the front room. <laughs> it was a challenge. No, what's up, Darren? Copyright infringement? Oh, yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. I'm doing good, Axel. How are you, man? Catherine, welcome into the stream. Thank you so much for liking the stream, guys. Always make sure you guys hit the like. Because then it tells me that's that the like button's actually working. So, the OD will make you trip your balls off. I watched it all. I didn't care. People make music videos. They're just posted on YouTube. That's true, too. MTV's not good for that anymore. Oh. oh, now they watch YouTube videos? Wait, really? I had no idea. Used it as part of their spirit journey. Oh, I had no idea. When they didn't call it a spirit journey. Well, they did, but it was actually just tripping balls all the time. So I remember Daria, yeah. Crazy, she got her own show. I never watched it, but I know of it, though. Oh, excuse me. Thank you, Scott, for the like. Making sure it works. I'm feeling good today, Catherine. How are you feeling today? We were told never watch Beavis and Butthead, Jerry Springer, and BET Uncut. Guess what? We did. That's true, man. Yeah, I used to love watching BET Uncut. Yep. Me and my my older sister, we used to watch that together. Just because she's like, she was, she's a couple years older than me. So um, she used to love watching BET. I think it was more of... Like if mom caught us watching the, 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 you know, like BET or whatever, she could say, well, Adam was watching it too. So we'd both get in trouble, not just her, you know? So what's up, Eric? A million ways to unalive in the West. I love that movie. It's plain stupid. Oh, is that the, um, isn't that Seth MacFarlane? It's his movie, right? What's up, Nick? Isn't that crazy? He, he was 79 years old. He had, um, some type of cancer, I think, right? J Prime Capatid. Mr. Anderson, a a AKA prototype Hank Hill. Yeah. Look at her and she'd be like, damn snitch. Yeah. Finally gonna score. We're finally gonna score. This is the greatest time of our lives. <laughs> we knew where that house was in St. Louis. Really? That's how we found out about the Nelly video he got criticized for. Oh. Yeah, but he's from St. Louis, right? So don't criticize people from St. Louis or St. Louis if they're from St. Louis, because Rella will tell you. Oh, Jay, he did the 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> he brought all the drama to sick kids everywhere. That's true, he did. So when I was a kid and I stayed home from school, it was always The Price is Right. That's what I always watched. I'm playing solo. I'm playing all by myself. Billy Ray Cyrus looking villain. <laughs> He said, well, I'm from St. Louis. I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He wants my unit. <laughs> oh, man. I 
actually enjoy watching music videos on YouTube. I didn't even really think about the fact that YouTube has those. YouTube is literally free television. Like, it's insane. They have YouTube Red, but I think that's more if you don't want to see ads on your videos, but it also still supports uh, the creators who use ads. What's up, Danilo? If you have a good channel that has lots and lots of views, you will definitely make really good money with ads on your videos on YouTube. Where is the unit? <laughs> My pants. <laughs> People criticize Nelly for doing that music video, but the house he did it in, everyone knew where that house was. Oh, wait, why did they criticize him if they knew where it was? Who gives a damn? YouTube's is a well-oiled time machine. That's very true. Da, da, da. YouTube has Sunday ticket now. Damn, okay, they're moving up in the world. Price is right and soap operas. One life to live. All my children, General Hospital. Every single one of those my grandmother watched. My mom's mom used to watch those. My 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 dad's mom, my grandma on my dad's side, she would watch all of the uh, the Spanish speaking ones. I don't know what their names are, but oh damn, I don't know how I got lucky with that. Cavity search is all around. Star. Yeah. lucky ah oh, son of a biscuit keep some butthead were compared to ren and stimpy oh i can see that oh my god yes no that was the the uh the house uh like the living no she wasn't living but she was like um like she watched my grandma she was from dominican republic very nice lady English was not so great, but we got by because, you know, me and my sister didn't speak Spanish, so. Bonjour, monsieur. How are you today? You had a good sleep? Keep some butthead do the universe. Isn't that on Paramount Plus? I don't have that anymore. Oh, my God. Telemundo. Well, yeah, it was on Telemundo, but the soap opera itself was not called Telemundo. <laughs> have you watched new episodes that really are funny? Oh, I haven't personally. Thank you, Monsieur, for the likes. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, the, the universe one is where they go to outer space. Get all the items. Everything. Frog suit. Ugh. Remember MTV Cribs? Pimp My Ride? Yes. I still watch it. You probably watch Maria del Barrio. Those soap operas were in one of the public channels here in Brazil, too. Maybe. Maybe she did. I don't remember, though. I was a kid, so. But. Jeez, uh, that's where the whole, like, the memes came from. Where gasp, gasping in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, that's where those came from. Because they were so overacted. It was ridiculous. Telemundo does have all those dramas, though. Yeah, absolutely, man. I remember Telemundo used to air unedited episodes of Dragon Ball Z back in the day. It was all in Spanish. I didn't really care because I'd already seen the episodes by then. So I kind of had an idea what they were saying. Whoa. But um, it was just fun to watch it. I was like completely uncut. It was all blood and Captain Ginyu punching himself to hurt himself and then taking Goku's body and all that. Uh, I woke up at six, took my coffee and go back to sleep for a little bit. Very nice. Okay. Obviously you needed the sleep, man. Laughs in Boricua. Yeah, Mexican novellas are known for their exaggerations. Yo, they're ridiculous, man. They're worse than the, the English-speaking ones. Oh, 20. Yay, we got them all! Yes! Perfect. I got them all. Sweet. You remember Yo Mama on MTV? That was my show. Yo Mama? I don't remember that show. Kelly, welcome in. I don't remember Yo Mama. I remember Cribs, though. Monsieur with 34 stars. He's like, Jay, you're not leaving it at 66. My wife and I play OG Star Wars. Um, Battlefront, Halo Reach, 2 and 3. She loved it. Oh, those are all good games, man. Very nice. I still want to give the newer Battlefront games a try. I know people were like, oh, it's just it's just a battlefield with Star Wars, but it looks pretty cool though. It's not crossplay, so I'd have to like figure out where to play it on every other console. Maybe, I don't know. 
Some of you guys got PS5, some of you got PS4, some of you got PC, most of you have a Switch. Wilder or Wilmer Valderrama from that 70s show played Fez. Oh, what about him? What about him? It's awesome, yeah. Wait, the new Battlefront games? Because I used to literally live on my Xbox and PlayStation playing uh, Battlefield Hardline and Battlefield 1. I didn't really care for BF5. And I don't know if I'll ever get into 2042. I used to play a lot of Battlefield 4, though. So I just realized you're playing the GBA version. I am, sir. I am. Oh, he was the host of Your Mama. Oh, really? No, read it again, bro. You hear me? What? You don't? It was a roasting show with Vildor. Oh, okay. So, so they just roasted people. Oh, okay. What's up, David? Welcome in. Oh, the original Xbox. Gotcha. See, I hate when they name games the same like that. Get up there. Don't let Cheap Cheap get you. I don't think Battlefront's on the Switch. I don't think so either. The newer one, anyway. Nope. I'm going to keep this. I don't care about that. Actually. Run. Yeah, got him. It roasts him with your mama jokes. Oh, yo, what's up, Jay? The boss man. Are you enjoying that new PC, sir? What's up, Doug? Yeah, I didn't know that show existed. I mean, honestly, I probably saw it at some point, but it's something that never really, like, really clicked in my brain, you know? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. I am the hype! You are the hype! I have two hammers now. Yeah. What's up, Matthew? It all is backwards compatible on Xbox One. Oh, really? Adam playing Battlefield? Yo, I used to live on my Xbox playing Battlefield. Legit. That was all I played for months. For months. And now they're all on Game Pass. So, it's easier to play them. Especially the games. So I'm used to it. I want to play a mod GTA. Oh, you're talking about GTA RP? Roleplay, yeah. Damn! It requires a little bit of setting up, but I've heard it's pretty fun. I should have got GTA 5 when it was free on Epic a while back. Harp and Pack Attack was my guys on that show. They were beasts with the jokes. Ice cream fried. Oh, fried ice cream. Okay. What's up, Peter? I know, man. I used to be so good at Battlefield. I mean, I wasn't the best, but I thought I was pretty good at it. It was fun. What's up, Kyle? No, not this level. Sits on a dollar bill, you hear George crying. Oh my god, that's so fudged up. Thanks for the list. Yeah, man, absolutely. Did you get both monitors? Oh, did you get two monitors for that computer? It really is a lot better to have two monitors. Like, I get it if you're on a budget and, uh, you know, you can't afford two monitors, but nowadays you really got to get two monitors. In my case, I have four. So, oh, I can just imagine you. Oh, for real, man. I used to get hate messages from people. Legit. Nowadays, that type of stuff will get you banned. So at least suspended for a bit. Yeah, I get hate messages from people. Keep an eye on Epic every Thursday. Horizon Turbo Char. Yeah, it is. I actually did download it. I like that game. Battlefield was so crazy. I got two. That way I can play the game sometimes and watch sports. There you go. See? What I'll do is sometimes I'll have two streams going at the same time. I'll have... I'll watch two people at the same time on stream. Because I got one, two... My ultra wide's in the center right here. You guys never see... Well, you don't see any of my monitors, but... That's how I have it set up. I, I was thinking about rearranging my... um My monitor setup, but I'm not really sure, though. They send you hate messages because I would beat them a lot or our team would be winning. And in the older Battlefield games, you could uh, spawn camp. And of course, I'm not going to not spawn camp. Why would I not? You know, so. So I got Game Pass. I'll join you. Well, I don't have Game Pass right now. I forgot to redeem my two month subscription code on Discord. I feel like a ding dong for doing that. But I'll get it back eventually. You showed us before you moved. That's true. I did, didn't I? I forgot. 
bah, bah, bah. Mass Effect, Star Wars, and Halo should coexist. That'll be awesome. Oh, yeah, to play together. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on. Come on. There we go. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Almost threw me off. Woo, that was close. I also got hate mail playing Black Ops 2. Oh, yeah, dude. Stuff like that will get you banned nowadays, or at least... Did we go to each other's houses to get stuff to do the your mama jokes? You spout? I did, man. I used to spawn camp in Battlefield Bad Company 2. Um, I was uh, my team. We would start spawn camping. Of course, it happened to me too. They would literally just they would not let us get away from our, our base. Especially we were just getting slaughtered by the other team. They did change it. Um, in Hardline, but it was still easy on certain maps to spawn camp people. <laughs> they do because you unalive all the farmers, sir. Um. Whoa, get out of here. Yikes. Whoa, that was close. I used to get him playing World War Z in horde mode because I was doing all the saving. <laughs> yep. I didn't know you could do that in Halo. I didn't play Halo online enough. I think maybe a handful of times that I ever play uh, Halo online. Run! Yeah, got him. I used to I used to use a black hat with engineer and steal my opponent's care package and rig it to explode it. <laughs> Okay, that's funny. That is really funny. I'd actually love to see that. The things you can do, man, I swear. Halo was fun. Okay, yeah. I received some hate mail on GTA. I don't grief randos, but if someone griefs me, it's on. Like I was trapping their drops and then chilling nearby so I could watch it. Yo, so in Battlefield, especially Hardline, um, you could booby trap the vehicles, especially like the tanks and stuff. So in okay, so in like Bad Company, you could be the the guy who used to carry C4. I don't remember what his the class was for it. Um, but you could carry C4. I don't know. If, I don't think it was the engineer. Um, I don't remember what class it was. Damn. You could carry C4 from the beginning. You'd get two pieces of C4 every time. So when you could go up to the other enemy's base, you could walk up to their tanks and helicopters before they took off. You can literally just throw C4 and they never know it's there. I would literally let them take off and just fly off and not even not do anything until they got like halfway across the map. And then I'd trigger the C4 and they would literally just you could see the kill count come up on the screen because on helicopters, there would be up to four people in there. Um, and then in the tanks, I think it was up to two or three people. There was a machine gunner, the guy who would drive the tank, and the guy who would shoot the turret. So you get three kills in a tank and four in a helicopter, and it was awesome. Very slow day at work. Hola, senor. Oh my god, get away from me. It's always the low levels that are unalive you first. That's Sifo? Oh man, I need this Sifo so much. I have no idea how much I've been looking for this. Yeah, I can't remember what class it was in Bad Company where you get C4. It was funny as hell. 75 out. Hell yeah. What's up, man? I don't know if I need to do the uh, 99 life thing. I got 41, so I'm good. I was that kind of jerk in Black Ops 2. Oh, I caught it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll get over there. I'll do the, as many lives as I can before the timer starts running down on me. There we go. I'll get as many lives as I can here. What's up, Matthew? I love planting C4 in the tanks. Yo, it was hilarious, man. I did that in Hardline one time because the enemy, for some reason, they landed their helicopter in the middle of the map somewhere, and I was able to sneak up on it. I threw two pieces of C4 on it. I let them take off. I was standing right by it. And as soon as they took off, they filled up. Click. I just blew it up in midair. Come on, Clyde. What's up, Lee? Welcome in, man. Rachel, thank you for the likes. 
it's either the really low level people or people with like a three or four hundred level like damn no life go live outside the game 70 degrees and raining in hillbilly louisville it is 84 degrees here mostly sunny i thought i was going to have to go to the hospital for laughing so much yo i used to love doing that man those were the days man just sitting in front of your xbox whatever playing them games for hours on end yeah ben's a level 300 plus on gta I don't have a life. <laughs> well, I think I got plenty of time to get 99 at least. It goes over 100 lives though. Phone, my dad talking all of a sudden. I hear my screen for a whip wide. Oh, my screen door open. Because <clears throat> someone, someone in a hoodie tried to force him self in my house. Long story short, he got smacked on the side of my pistol. It's him. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Man, you live in a bad neighborhood. Ha! Ah, 69 one up. Didn't even mean to do that. Yo, it's dangerous where you live, Colton. Damn. 82 and cloudy and drizzling and thunder. Oh, bloody hell. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, seriously. Nah, Colton, he'll be all right. That man's prepared for the apocalypse. He ain't worried about some dude trying to break in his house. He got everything. Lag like, actually helped me out, but the... Opposite team thought I was hacking because I couldn't die, but I was getting all the kills myself because somehow my whole team lagged out. Oh, really? Bum, 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 bum. Boom. At least I got my 99. I got 110 lives, so. Yo, look at Jay sitting pretty with 55 stars as a top star. Who's going to trigger a stars party? Make it happen, Cappins. I think the goal for the weekend is 75,000 stars. So, between this stream and then tonight, um, I thought about... I know we kind of got in the tradition of playing the golfing game on Sunday nights. Or at least Sunday afternoons, anyway. My 300 levels on GTA spans 10 years since the release of the game. See, that's I, I, I can live with that, man. I totally get it. 11 from Chris. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Oh. My street and college down the road. All my neighbors are old AF because because I held my front door open, letting... Oh. Yep. Yeah, I don't let nobody do that around here, man. I need a couple cameras around my house, too, man. I mean, the only problem I have around here is freaking uh, solicitors. I told you guys about that. 70 and sunny? Oh, okay. Battle rifles and shotguns, and I was trampling them. Ron, welcome to the stream. Very quiet neighborhood, which makes it a target area. Yeah, that makes sense, too. It's really quiet back here, too, man. So, like I said, I want to get at least a door, a front door camera. And I need one for my side yard, too, because we're totally blind on the one side of the house. Can't see nothing over there. Oh, I missed the thing. That's all right. Oh, because it's Wendy Koopa. No! I can't... Freaking A! I don't know how she isn't dead yet. Yeah. Get out of here. Woo! Somewhat effed around and found out. 85 here. Damn! Yeah, we're about the same, Mackie. Big giant. Yeah, he's he's ready. He's, he's, he's army ready. <laughs> I got to like level 180 on PS3 and it had to restart all together on PS4 because I got it after they stopped letting us port. I remember that. I remember that. My front one never triggered to so let me know. I think the batteries are dead. Oh, yeah. You should definitely uh, check that out, sir. It's Mario's long lost cousin who lives in a water world. Not the movie. He just lives in a water world. You can stomp him on your enemies using Goomba Shoe. You can stomp on your enemies using Goomba Shoe. I know it's Karibo, whatever she says in the other game. I know, right? I know my rats. <laughs> well, that's the idea. You, you come into my house unwanted. Your rights end right there. So. Yeah. Isn't there a hammer suit or a Tanuki suit in here? Tanuki, got it. 
I'm glad I was able to port my Borderlands save though, because I put a lot of work into my Siren and Assassin. I didn't want to lose it. What's up, Billy? Tanuki. It's not Hammer. At least not yet. I thought you get the Hammer suit early in this game. Well, at least here. Arcadio, hey buddy, what's up, man? Hola, hola. I just saw the Queen's reel and dang, it's raining outside. Yeah. Wait, right now? I don't think it is right now. She probably, oh, she took that reel yesterday. That was when I was streaming, I think Resident Evil 3 last night. What about Fu Manchu? <laughs> I don't lock my door only when I'm asleep or gone for a few days. Really? You crazy, man. I guess, I mean, if your town's small enough, I mean, my city's not that small anymore. We creeping up on 100,000 citizens here. Residents? Residents. Citizens. I guess it's the same. Bum, 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 bum. We get 10 OP levels, and on the PS3, you get OP level 8. So when I took my siren to PS4, I only had two more levels to get. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. That's nice. That's tight. What's that? That's C4. C4? Yeah, that's C4. Oh, shit. What's the matter? Nothing wrong, man. I've just been looking everywhere for this shit. I didn't need you find C4. It's a hot ticket. Yeah, right. He's gonna even get this shit, man. You don't know how happy you make me feel, man. I'm gonna get you that money. Oh my god! Oh man. What's up, Dewan? Sixth place. I live five miles away from my town. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my goodness gracious. I swear. Ugh. My dude's killing me with this. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. Here I go. Oh, what's up, Charlie? <laughs> oh man, I think my microphone's too close. I keep hitting this damn thing with my uh my controller. <laughs> Trying to work on moving out of the city. Found an ice house 15 minutes out of town. Oh, I saw a town in the country. Nice. Probably a bigger house too, and it's cheaper. I am the high. The C4 where they respawn and when they set up headquarters and boom, did it on Call of Duty Modern Warfare a lot. For the damn Wii back in the day. Didn't have money for a PlayStation. Oh, and so the title, Ice Cream. Perfect. Yo, you still can play uh, Call of Duty on the Wii. Like Black Ops and I think... Modern Warfare is on the Wii also. There's still servers to play, but it's nothing but cheaters now at this point. It's insane that people go to those lengths just to play those games and all they do is cheat in the servers. They don't even, like, they don't even care. They just, that's all they do is cheat. Yeah, you can still play those games online, Mark. Yeah. A lot of those words and numbers, words and numbers flow over my head, British, but I know enough to knock very clearly if I ever come to visit. <laughs> if the dog doesn't bark, you didn't you didn't knock loud enough, sir. Damn it, I hate this level. This is the one that really gave me issues last time I played it. If you look, the screen scrolls a little bit to the right to help you see better. Your backyard looks like Tropic Thunder, isn't it? Yeah. We don't have a fence up just yet, so... Is this the GBA one? It is, yes. So... Since the hurricane, since Hurricane Ian came through, um, originally where I live, you could only put up a fence six feet tall. That was the maximum allowed height for a fence. Otherwise, the city could cite you for having a fence too tall. Now, for whatever reason or another, now you can have up to eight feet. So thank you, Monsieur, for another likes. So we, when we, uh, when we get to that point, we'll make sure that eight foot fence is gonna be tall as hell. Eighty six. Damn. You do fencing. Well, come on down. Well, we can't do it just yet. We got to wait. Offense for offense. Exactly. It did give us some issues when we played the All-Stars version. Did it really? Yeah, it did. That level was sussy, man. I don't like it. But yeah, I guess six feet used to be the max. Now it's eight feet. So. I'm out when it gets warm. Like, wow. That's true, man. Now, it's pretty quiet back here. I mean... We still deal with a couple of speeders that live back here. They tend to fly down the road for whatever reason. They're in a rush to go nowhere. I would say UPS and FedEx are the worst when it comes to how fast they drive, but that's just them all the time. 
you little punk. Get over here. Stay on the float. Get out my way. Come down. We travel for business. Damn. He's like, I'll take a little vacation down here. Michelle, man. I just want an eight foot privacy fence. That's it. Kind of mess you up putting little things above you. Yeah. Hey, Ricky Bobby, I got to go fast. If you're not first, you're last. <laughs> what about defense? Oh, wait, what's this other one here? Oh, is that? I know where this takes you, I think. I think I know wood or vinyl. Probably vinyl. If we get hit with another hurricane, it's just easier to pick it up and put it back up. Wood will snap and break and all that. Plus, uh, pretty sure it's the same for you. We got to worry about termites here, too. So termites, eat it. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot drop. My Beetlejuice voice. Goodbye, Lackey 2. I hardly knew ye. Happy Sunday fun day. What's up, Joey? How's it going, man? Termites won't eat good wood, though. Oh, really? I never even thought of that. Mmm, termites. <laughs> Final's so expensive. And you can get pressure-treated wood, which will prevent them. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you're the expert, sir. I never knew that we had, uh, like, a fence ordinance here. I, I, They would have told me six foot, and that's it. They, although the, the person probably would have told me, hey, in, in your city, six foot's the highest you can go. But now it's eight for some reason. I don't understand why. Oh, that's the reasoning. Because, so since the hurricane, I don't know if it's just because of here or the entire state. Now they're building new homes three to four feet above where they usually do, above the property line. So now you can have a taller fence to make up the difference. So I didn't even think about that. I feel bad for those people who put up a fence right before the hurricane because it's not even there anymore. All that shit blew away. So it is Kells. Yes. How do you get games on PC? I'm thinking about going PC to play retro. Uh, are you talking about ROMs and emulators, Christian? Don't forget razor wire. Oh yeah, that's right. I got to keep out the zombies too. <laughs> Don't be eaten by delicious termites. What the hell are you doing eating delicious termites? Oh, don't run away. I downloaded Street Fighter 6 demo. I doubt seriously I'll purchase a copy. I wasn't impressed. I haven't, I still haven't played it yet, man. I don't want my first impressions of Street Fighter 6 to be from a demo. I'd rather just play the full game. Or rather, I would just rather play a unfinished, uh, unfinished full game. How about that. The funny thing is that the demo is probably just the full game, just cut down into the demo. So there's that. Lucky. Like what you have. Oh, so I use RetroArch and my ROMs. Good God. I've had my ROMs forever, dude. I got, so my ROMs have been on this computer since the days when you could get ROMs and emulators from MU Paradise. They don't even do that anymore because uh, they were getting cease and desisted from Nintendo. So, 50 cows on each corner of your fence for the zombie defense because I would travel down that way when it comes. Hello, Mr. Daniel. How are we doing? And you're not Luigi. Uh, Luigi controls terribly in this game, sir. Just an FYI. Tanuki! Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior is still my favorite. It's amazing. Yo, Mackie, you playing Metroid Prime. Go, Mario. Destroy him. Now go. Destroy him. Thank you, Daniel, for the likes, sir. Ooh, a P-Wing. Man, that's the second time I noticed I have 69 coins. I don't like this one. This one makes me nervous too. When zombies happen, 
find a big bottle of water because they can't swim up. <laughs> what? Why you lie, sir? Oh, Jesus. What's up, Aaron? Ooh, that was close. I'm actually glad they put this version on here. Luigi has a sussy jump in this version, sir. He has an SMB2 jump. I don't like it. Well, a body of water. I'm like, bottle of water? I hadn't played Animal Crossing in exactly a month, and I got ass loads of flowers to get rid of, and I had a roach in my house. Only one, though, from a month? That's not bad. I can't tell you the last time I uh, booted up Animal Crossing, so... I stepped on it and went poof. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's the way you get rid of them. You just got to step on them. Several months. I decided to turn it on two days ago. Update everything. Play Street Fighter 2 yesterday. Approximately two hours. <laughs> yeah, those updates, man. They take forever. When I went to go play um, that Star Wars game, the older one, whatever it's called. Fallen Jedi Warrior or something. I don't know. Something Survivor. Oh, that's a new one, I think. Um... It was an hour of an of a downloaded update and then another 40 minutes to install the game to play for 20 minutes. Several months, excuse me. So it took me like three times longer to just update and install than I did actually do gameplay. Dry bones or wet bones? Uh, depends on which one you prefer, sir. PS4 and Xbox, they're both slow, but it's a lot of it's due to the fact of the hard drive type that's in them and um, the Wi-Fi cards that they have in them. You can get it faster if you have a hardwire connection, but because the hard drives are old school spinning disk versions of them from the factory, they take forever to download. So what's up, Cameron? Yes, that one. Sensual Survivor. Cream pie bones. <laughs> I don't want those coins. Not worth it. I saw the law around here. When I come back, you better clean this shit up and brush your teeth. <laughs> Thank you, man. You have no idea how much that means to me. Send me those 88 stars, man. There you go. Because after you, it downloads, it has to copy, which takes twice as long. Yeah. It's true, though. Here, check this out. Nowadays, you know how much an average one terabyte solid state drive goes for? Like $54. Stevie, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Tom, what's up, dude? All I had left. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. So get yourself, even if it's just a one terabyte solid state drive, 50, 50 something dollars, get that old ass hard drive out of your computer. Trust me. I was going to say between 50. So yeah, if you get, if you want to spend a hundred dollars, you can get a two terabyte. It ain't going to be the best solid state drive. Um, as far as like, ah, shiz, um, the brand, ah, shiz. I don't recommend getting a cheap two terabyte solid state drive. At the very least, get the one terabyte, but get a good brand. Crucial MX 500. That's a good solid state drive and a one terabyte. There was a block and I missed it. I totally, cause they don't put those blocks in the super Nintendo version or the NES. What's up, Dustin? I saw where the King of the Hill is getting a revival. And they aged Hank up, really? I'm off to bed. I'll see you on the Queen Jack's page. David, have a good sleep, my dude. I'll see you tonight, man. Clean the shit up and brush your teeth. I got a huge nuke coming for you as soon as I get the rest of the stuff together here. It'll be worth it. Oh my, oh my god! Plenty, because PC files are way smaller than console. What about the Windows 6 that is installed? Windows 6? <laughs> you mean 10? I've never used Seagate. I've only used Crucial. And then I have my my really old school Hitachi one terabyte. This is a one terabyte drive right here, guys. This is in my computer for Jesus Christmas. So many years. Can't tell you how many years I had it. What's up here, Luke? So get yourself one of these things right here. 
This is a uh, hard drive to USB. It's 3.0 USB. It was like $15 on Amazon. You'll use it forever. Old school. What? Up to Windows 12. That's right. Yeah, they've been planning Windows 12 now at this point. Eventually, they're going to stop support for Windows 10. So I'm going to have to upgrade whether I like it or not. Windows XP? Jesus, dude. Hope you got nothing important on there because uh, Windows XP updates, security updates. Gown! Bump, ba -dum -bump. If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. That's true. Yeah, I'm actually debating on grabbing one of those, uh, one of those, uh, one terabyte hard drives. Crucial makes a good hard drive, so Windows 95. <laughs> you have a Seagate two terabyte external drive. Nice. Yeah, this thing. Oh, so this adapter won't work with this hard drive because it requires its own power supply. If you use it on a solid state drive, perfectly fine. There's not enough voltage that goes through this through USB only to read, write and copy that hard drive. So it's old AF. I was thinning out my storage room and I found it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. hoping I could find it. That was just a guess. Oh God, Windows 3.1. XP was dope. I have 10 on my PC now. Yeah, I have 10 also. I have 10 Pro. I never, I mean, I never made the change to 11 because I wasn't sure how it was going to react to all my streaming stuff. Yes. I mean, I, I, I could have just. Booty, booty, booty. Miss playing Ski Free on Windows 3.1. Oh, I think I remember that game, Ski Free. I can't wait to play Chroma Squad. Chroma Squad is going to be a fun game. I'm not really the biggest fan of uh, tactical RPGs, but. It is a pretty fun game from what I've seen. I hope the intro doesn't get me copyrighted, though. The one in which you had to escape the Yeti. Yup, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go chasing leaves. I know, man. I fell. All my login info for AOL. I was dead when I saw it. Is my favorite indie JRPG. Yeah, I've never played it. I tested it. Um, It's a lot of fun. It's pretty good. It's goofy, but I love it. Mushroom Flower Star is always on the bottom right on the card matching game. Mushroom Flower Star. Really? GG's, the Yeti, the game was made by a Brazilian studio. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, okay. What's up, Ruby? Not the biggest fan. What about is that smallest wind blocker? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Saban forced him to say it was inspired in Power Rangers rather than Sentai. What? It's not right. It was for really. I thought that was a really funny way of them giving, you know, like acknowledging Power Rangers. But if he forced them to say that, that's nonsense. The freaking intro song is in Japanese. There was no Japanese music in Power Rangers. That was in Super Sentai. That is nonsense. Looking clean, yo. Thanks, man. My hair was out of control. I remember... I mentioned a JRPG in which you can play as a cosplayer turned Sailor Moon is made by the same company. Really? What's the name of it? And is it on the Switch? Because then I can just get it for Yuzu. <laughs> Those eShop games were pretty easy to get a hold of, so. Must not have been good. I didn't see anyone streaming it or talking about it. I think I remember seeing somebody playing that. I don't know for sure, though. I thought I was going to fall in that hole right there. Got to head out and go help the old man move a marble countertop. Oh, Jesus. Good luck, sir. Good luck. We use the AOL disc to get the KBN free service. My daughter just saw the commercial on TV and now she keeps saying avocados from Mexico. <laughs> I've never seen that commercial in my life. I had to, I had to YouTube it. I never seen an avocado from Mexico commercial. 
I think Returnal was made by, um, was that also Arcane Studios? What's up, Roy? Yeah, I've never seen that commercial. Damn. Go, 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 go. Lucky. What's up, David? I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was. Who also made Dreadfall. Arcane Studios made Dishonored and they made Redfall. <laughs> Yikes. And again, I mean, even Capcom made some stinkers in their day. I'm really scared for that Exo Primal game where uh, it's like zombie apocalypse, but it's dinosaurs instead. Squad based type of game. I'm really, really nervous for it because they've been showing off gameplay, but of course it's always in controlled environments um, where they can make it look like games not lagging or anything. But they've been talking about it forever and they there's no demo or beta or anything for it. So he said, wait, let me look. I'm poor. If I wanted to own a house someday, I've got to stop eating avocado, avocados on toast. <laughs> oh God, excuse me. Dinosaurs. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Pew, pew, pew. Nuclear waffles. Yeah, they're very nuclear-ish in this one, man. Oh, the boat is right there. No shiz. I got to stop eating guacamole. Ugh. That's easy for me. Radioactive eggies with in indecent syrup. Oh. I'm trying to get all the way to the end here. Get to the end. Yay. Screw that level. They really screwed the pooch with that one. Wait, Rise of the Machines or Beasts from something? Rise of the Beasts? Is that movie out yet? That's the kind of advice we get from politicians and other celebrities, highly influential people. Oh, gotcha. Look, the money boat. Level skip. Oh yeah, thank goodness. What's up, Leo? Good evening, sir. So the Maximals never met the Autobots, at least not when they were awake. Uh... They got off Earth before the Autobots woke up. Oh, so they're basically... Well, okay, so it's not an actual continuity. It's a continuity of the Bumblebee movie. Bring back Onimusha series and Chaos Legion. Oh, yeah, I used to have Chaos Legion for PS2. Um, I'm actually going to be playing Onimusha on a substream sometime in the next two weeks or so. What's up, Andy? Are you off today, sir? It's Sunday. I hope you're off today. Bring. Nah, I'm gonna go up here. Like sometime this month or next. Yeah, I got the uh, Onimusha remastered for PC. So it was $8 because it was part of the Capcom Golden Week sale. So very easy level. Won't be long and I'll have to buy me a new Xbox. Uh-oh. Why you gotta buy a new Xbox? You break the other one? Ah, oh, Ruckers. I didn't mean to do that. No, it was not what I needed. The actual Beast Wars. Held by Housemark, published by Sony Interactive. Oh, Returnal. That's right. Returnal was, um... That was a Sony exclusive. I'm over here thinking I was on Xbox. What the hell's wrong with me, man? I have to pay attention to stuff. Would you bounce on the freaking block, Mario? I hate those blocks. Jeez. Who's my favorite spy? Onimus 3 starring Gene Reno. Oh! Well, it'll be fun because I've never actually played any Onimusha game. Before I sold my PS2 collection, I owned one and two. I never played them. Xbox is life. The games I want are for Series X and S. Oh! Smell of rage coming. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. That's what golf is for, man. We play the substream. Play this game called uh, Golf with Your Friends. Ridiculous. He's French. Oh. So his name's Jean, not Jean. Jean Ren Renault. <laughs> I 
And Rodimus. Oh god, Rodimus. Rodimus. Rodimus Prime. Mm, French Moroccan and yup. His name's Jean Reno. Not Jean Reno. That sounds like beef and bean burrito. Got the major leadership when Optimus died fighting Galvatron. That's true, yes. I like how he holds on to his hat for dear life. Don't take my hat away. Get him. No, Galvatron was just a brand new toy based off of Megatron. <laughs> Fix Assassin's Creed, Mirage, and Skull and Bones are going for to, are going to be on Series X and S. The other day, Unicron should be the most expensive movie villain to date. Really? I was wondering why Mario holds his hat down. Oh, he don't want it to blow away, man. Don't take my hat. It's a mine. It is named Juan Moreno. E. Herrera Jimenez of Spanish descent, born in Morocco and raised there for 17 years before his parents moved to France. Oh, damn. Supreme victory. Starscream is true supreme leader. No, in the movie, when Megatron goes to Unic got to Unicron, he was upgraded to Galvatron. No, I know that. I have the movie, sir. I've seen that movie an untold amount of times. I swear, I think you can hit your head on that lava. Just saying, a fireball should be able to hurt him. Because that ain't right. I don't think you can jump full height. I think you actually will hurt yourself. Oh, I actually hit him. Sweet. See, right here. Starscream, pull my trigger! I don't want to pull your trigger, Megatron! Oh, shiz, run! What's up, Ken? I really want to play, um... Fall of Cybertron again. I freaking love those games. The Fall and War of Cybertron games. I was lucky enough to get them on PC before they pulled them from the store. Super cheap. That's what I needed. Galvatron is a dollar store Megatron. <gasps> Monkey took Mario's cap in 64. Yes, he did. He's a little butt face. Thank you. Yo, what's up, Phil? Hello, sir. Um. Andy, what's up, man? Bum, 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 bum. But that would also say that maybe, just maybe, that Megatron has some memories of Galvatron, or as Galvatron, or... Galvatron has memories of him being Megatron. What's up, Tommy? There's always been that fan theory about that. Oh, you mutter trucker. Go, 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 go. Woo! Do six. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm good on six, man. I don't want to do aisle six. <laughs> going good Tommy how are you man nah I'm gonna save that oh I need the feather all right let's try that again oh hail Megatron I threw that annoying fur ball off the mountain stealing the hat <laughs> oh so okay so this is the kind of shenanigans that we were getting into playing Fortnite last night guys so now there's if you if anyone plays Fortnite you guys know about the randomly spawning islands that spawn in the game itself when you're in a map um so i was KOing people like knocking them out and i wasn't on the island and every time i shot them and they were down on the ground dying i was literally picking them up on my back and just throwing them off the island i know it's nothing new but it's hilarious to me and i was dying laughing on discord last night doing that to people what's up tyler 
Relaxing on my day off. Just got laundry done. Very nice. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, falls in that pool. He erases memories of Megatron to where of he is 100% Galvatron. There you go. You missed it, Ben. I know you were sleeping, though. It was late, man. But yeah, I must have threw like three people off the island yesterday. Arr, I can't get him. Yeah, I, I knocked out like three people and I kept throwing them off the island as far as I could go. Just waking up. I stayed up until 6 a.m. playing Elden Ring. Holy crap, dude. How do you do that? <laughs> get away, get away, get in there. Thank you. I missed it too. I know, man. What you think of the force? So I don't use it very often. Um, one of the things you can do though, using the force. So instead of having to, you know, knock people out and then pick them up and throw them off the island, when you're on the island, use the force and just throw them off the island. So there's that. I almost joined you for a little bit. You should have, Andy. I was streaming the game on Discord. So you would have been able to at least watch if you weren't playing it. That's what Reuven did. He was watching us play, so... That's the exact same thing I would do. <laughs> it was awesome, man. It was good fun. We got, I don't think we got one victory crown last night. I think it was just one. We got a couple of second place, a fifth place. Um, I know Roy. Yeah, you can force throw people off the island. It's hilarious. I like Elden Ring. I put like 32 hours into it or something like that. But uh, I haven't played it in a while though. Oh, I knew I was going to do that. Something told me I was going to jump right into that damn cannonball. Pull all nighter. Yeah, seriously, I haven't done that. You got one victory. Okay. It was the last one, right? Was it the last one we did where we got a victory? By far, my highlight of the night was just throwing people off the island. Like, physically knocking them out with whatever gun I had. I think it was I had the legendary edition of one of those blasters and I was able to just throw I was knocking them out left and right boom 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 the one time I need a power up and it's not here and then I was picking them up and just throwing them what's up Matthew That's right. Yeah, me and Tim got knocked out. We were in the storm and we were trying to crawl out of the storm. And uh, yeah, it was game over for us. I'm going to surprise you all. Enjoy one day and it'll be a beast at it. I'm telling you, man, you need to join in. It's fun. Unicron is the creator of the Transformers and Cybertron's current state. The Autobots and Decepticons had a rough peace until Megatron took charge of the Decepticons and betrayed the Autobots. Originally, Megatron and his soldiers were supposed to go with Optimus and his research team to find new energy sources to save Cybertron. That's true. And then Megatron just wanted to take it all for himself. It's a great game. Put over a thousand hours on my PS5, a PC copy I mainly use for the Elden Ring randomizer. Oh, game over, man. I promise I will, bro. Everyone's favorite. Hey. Let's just grab this. The queen says 32,101 stars left to hit 75K. Let's go. I feel like they, they did definitely change some of this. Like they shortened some of the stages. Changed some power-up locations and all that. Wanted the energy to conquer Cybertron, destroy Unicron, but absorb his sparks and become all-powerful god. Oh... Damn, I should have kept the fireball. Ooh, that was close. Oh, I have 132 lives? Yeah, I didn't realize that. <laughs> 137 now. Cal Kestis versus the Apprentice. I thought Primus. Yeah, I thought Primus was the creator of the Transformers. And the good deity that gave them the Matrix, Unicron, is more or less the devil of the Transformers. I thought it was Primus. So where does Vector Sigma fit in all that stuff? Megatron takes all the sparks of the Transformers and starts to absorb them. Oh, damn. Now we're getting... So we're going into Beast Wars and stuff. I never watched any of Beast Wars. I go off... Of... Everything that I know about Transformers is from G1 and the movie. Let's go. Oh. oh, he was the first Transformer. Oh. 
I thought the Quintessons created the Transformers. See, I'm now I'm now I'm really lost. Spectre Sigma is the supercomputer deep inside Cybertron. Okay, so that had to have been created by something. But I thought the Quintessons created them. He's also known as the Oracle. Oh. So what you're telling me, Chris, is if I decide to play the Fall or War of Cybertron, War for Cybertron video games on the substream, you would probably die happy. <laughs> I have both on Xbox 360 also. But I much prefer the PC versions, though. A much better frame rate on those. Even though I think they're completely locked to 60 FPS. To this day, I've never played multiplayer on those games. I played multiplayer versus other people on those games, and holy god, they're... I'm talking about, like, co-op, because uh, War for Cybertron actually has three-player co-op on it. I'm lost as well. Now I got to take a refresher course for the Transformers franchise. Yeah, dude, there's a lot of deep history with Transformers. Because I remember there was a joke that Optimus Prime made in a fan dubbed thing where he didn't say, God damn it. He said Vector Sigma <laughs> like he's trying to say it. But yeah. Raphael, welcome in. Beast Machines, it shows there were multiple civilizations. Uh, that came before the Autobots and that Cybertron is actually an organic world. Primus is the creator god of the Transformers, an ancient and ethereal being whose origins date back to the beginning of the universe itself. Primus is a multiversal force for good, his life force existing across multiple realities and infinite alternate universes. In each one, he is the final defense against his fallen sibling, Unicron, the Chaos Bringer. Ah, what's up, Andrew? Three item slots left. That's the beauty of wikis. Every time the planet was reformatted using Vector Sigma, it built a new civilization on top of the previous one. Oh. I did not know that. Transformers was life back in the day. I had so much knowledge. Yeah, me too, man. I don't buy Transformers as often as I used to because, good God, they are expensive. Even the ones you buy from the store, like Target... Yeah, it's Transformers Wiki, so it's one of those, like, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Because it's anything Wiki is... It's all fan, you know? God damn it, I missed it. But yeah, Transformers, even the ones in the stores, the minimum is, like, $30 for a Transformer. And in my case, I can spend $10 and get a Ninja Turtle figure. So, if I'm really wanting to buy a new figure, I'll just buy a Ninja Turtle, you know? So... And every Optimus Prime carries a spark of Primus. That's why he can use the Matrix of Leadership to its full extent. Oh, so do you think that Rodimus was ever able to use it to the fullest extent? He was a Prime, so... But I guess the idea is that even if you're a Prime, it doesn't mean that uh, you can use the Matrix to its fullest extent. Better off getting Transformers from yard sales. Yeah, it's true, man. I don't think he could either. Yeah, I agree, man. It was just the due to his inexperience. To this day, you have to really think, like, why did the Matrix choose him? All it did was make him bigger and stronger. So, so he never really could utilize the full power of it. But why not Ultra Magnus? To this day, it's like, why not Ultra Magnus? The Transformers model kits from Furi, however you spelled, are crazy expensive. Are they really? I have three of them. I have... Optimus, Starscream, and Megatron, and I've never opened them. Just to show you how much, how big my backlog is. So, she got them from Hobby Lobby a while back. Because of his righteous mind and spark. Yeah, but how could you not think that Ultra Magnus was not? righteous of his mind I mean he is right though he's like I'm just a soldier which is true he's a much better soldier who followed orders than freaking Rodimus or Hot Rod sorry 
Oh no. Oh my god, thank you. Plus Optimus can't actually die. That's true, he did come back. Again. Drift was $2.99 last I saw. Damn. But what about like the ones I have? I have the I said Optimus, Megatron, and Starscream. That was very close. Yeah, Hot Rod is a classic jerk hero. He really is, man. He makes a really awesome toy, but as a character, nah. I have died there before. Plot armor, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Kind of like why like Goku never actually dies. It's plot armor. Actually, no Dragon Ball character ever actually dies. It's all plot armor. All of them. Wait, is it five or six? I think it's five. Yeah, this is a good one. Starscream is the goat. I gave a Starscream figure to Jay. I know he's a huge Starscream fan as well, so I I, I literally mailed him my oversized masterpiece version of Starscream. All the time, but he'd always... So, he's still a piece of crap, though. Ooh, that was close. Yeah. First try. I never get that like that. See how much the aerial bots are? You mean like the gift set? The G1s? Expensive, man. You can get the KO ones from China, though. They're like 60 bucks for the whole box set. Flame Toys or Furai? Uh, Furai. He was a uh, funny story. Rodimus followed Prime, still suffered from his youth. And learning about what that was, to, what it was to be a leader, and in some ways ran away from his role, thus creating a conflict of good, bad within himself. Shame, doubt, pride, and ability when compared to his was humans, we do the same thing. Thus, me and my friends came up with the idea of the psychological disorder called the Rodimus effect. <laughs> Yamta needs a character upgrade. <laughs> he sure does. I always assumed he got it because he was related to Optimus. Oh, maybe. And he still got his ass whooped by Galvatron. He did. I think just the mere fact that Galvatron was Megatron at some point, he has that many more years of battle experience. That's just, that's just really it. That was a bad move. No! I don't give a damn about coins. Oh my god, get away from me. What's up, Carrie? Oh my god. Ugh. It didn't really help me at all, but I'd much rather have a feather game. Of course, it ain't gonna give me what I want. You don't have any Bumblebee figures? Um, I have two Bumblebee figures, both from the movie. They're both Camaros. They're not the they're not the the Volkswagen Beetles. I have um MPM zero four. I think it's zero four. Uh, and then I have a knockoff version of it as well. Actually, some of my favorite bots are the uh, the movie figures. Soldiers and the Autobots for scientists and explorers. Hold on, let me consult the archive. Yesterday's price is not today's price. That's true. Uh, what's up, Dan? Welcome in. Bumblebee and Ironhide are the only two actual soldiers Optimus has on his team originally. I had the Beetle Bumblebee min miniature when I was a kid. Yo, me too. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, not Goldbug. It was actually the small one, the Minicons. I know what you're talking about. I had a few G1 bots when I was a kid. I don't have any now, though. I wish I had the upgrade kit, but one of my... I have um the Combiner Wars Devastator. He's huge, but he's, like, kind of lacking in some areas just because it's just a big bot. Um... But he's still one of my favorites, though. I managed to grab him on the second uh, 
run that Hasbro did on Amazon for retail price. He wasn't five hundred dollars. So what's up, Gert? Do a Guitar Hero session? <laughs> that would be fun, but no. Transformers and GoBots were quite popular here in the 80s. Oh, I believe it. I never had any GoBots, though. Oh, come on, game. Why throw away your life so recklessly? That's a question you should ask yourself, Megatron. Now, I'll break you with my bare hands. Watch out for the atomic waffles. I know. I think I'm full on items. I have a lot of stuff. The GoBots! No! This level does not belong in Ice World. Why it's here? This should have been in World 7. Whoa! No! Oh, thank you. Hey, Gilmar, what's up, man? What a goofball. I had him too. I found a 15 Ultra Magnus on TF Source for $59.99. GoBots were for the kids who couldn't afford Transformers. And the thing is, they were still expensive back then. I mean, even if your typical average Transformer G1 was $10 or $12, they're still really expensive back then. Junior can't watch the series, but he didn't mind the 86 movie. Dude, like we talked about last night on Discord, yo, the TV show, the cartoon has not aged well. It is 80s cringe. Like, I'm okay with cringy stuff because I like the Street Fighter movie, but good Lord, man. That, that TV show, I can't. I just can't, man. It's, it's just too much for me. Way too cringy for me. All right. Go! Yeah! It did become legacy toys. That's very true. I think GoBots are stupid expensive. Like, original GoBots. Like Ryan's saying on card. Forget it. That's why I do like that companies like Hasbro or um, even um, whoever makes the, I think, well, it's Nickelodeon, but they own the rights to TMNT. Whoever does the action figures for TMNT, I love that they're bringing out retro figures. I love it because while you can tell the difference in quality between the OGs and these, they're not figures that I'm ever going to open and play with, but it's cool to collect them because they're the ones I had as a kid, you know? $100 plus, dollars, see? I range from 30 to 60 Okay, cool. I'm going to end up building them eventually. I got to finish my Gundams, man. I have so many Gundams I need to finish. So, maybe tomorrow when we get back from the movies. Andre, what's up, man? When we get back from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 tomorrow, um... I come home and just chill. We're going to, um, maybe I'll build some of my model kits that I have. I wouldn't mind getting the OG Beast Wars Transformers. That's the other ones they made, dude. They re, they re-released those G1s or G1 Beast Wars. Because I bought, um, was it Cheetor? I bought one for Marcelo and I sent it to Brazil because he said they're really hard to come by. They're inexpensive. Dinobot and Rhinox are my favorites. Yeah, the OG G1 Transformers actually had die cast in a lot of them. So, which I thought was really cool. Nowadays, you'd be lucky to get a die cast figure. Anything with die cast in it, that's $30, $50 range. Or at least three, yeah, three times the price. It's ridiculous, man. All because you made that one comment that day. You're like, yeah, man, Cheetor's my favorite. And I'm like, oh. I saw Cheetor at Walmart. The shipping to Brazil costs more than the actual figure. <laughs> Brazilian government, man, they get their money. We sent it over there, though. 
he got it like oh, i think what it took like six weeks eight weeks for you to get it marcelo i think Yeah, dude. It was ridiculous. Tax exemption for items shipped up to $50. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Man, you bouncy ball. He's actually a little bit slower when he runs. Huh. He's not as aggressive. They slowed him down. He's way faster in the All-Stars and NES version. Well played. Well played, Nintendo. Stegosaurus, Dinobot, and Grimlock. Uh, who was the Stegosaurus? What was his name? I can't think of the name. There's Sludge. Swoop. Snarl. Grimlock. And Slag, which actually is now Slug. Dinobot's the best. <laughs> I am well. Please wait, it's Bowser. How's he treating you well? He's supposed to be torturing you. You're his captive. Nintendo just uh They're censoring it. Fabricio, uh, welcome in, man. get up here nope uh, we're just gonna fall that's cool too oh that's a funky jazz song i know <laughs> yeah the uh the gba version of world 7 is awful oh damn it composition's horrible 75k for the weekend i can't believe it Ugh. no stars parties crazy what's up john welcome in man Change the pipe length there, so I just realized that. Damn it, up there. That proves that Peach and Bowser, something going on. I know, she literally said, I am well. It's like, wait a minute. What's going on with you? Or he torturing the Gato Mojado. Oh, maybe he is with his giant lizard tail. What's up, donkeys? You're late. You're late. That's okay, though. It's okay to be late for streams, not for work and all that stuff like that. Uh, well, I already have full inventory, so there's that. Hey, Andy. Welcome back, sir. Mari. Mari? Mari or Mario? Oh. <laughs> Just what I needed. Frozen yogurt custard. It's all deliciously full of sugar. That's true. It is. I mean, you're not wrong about that, sir. Ah, damn! It almost had it. Or no, just keep getting hit, Mr. Blast. That's cool too. You know, that's your thing. I gotta see the movie. I haven't seen it yet, guys. Sorry. I know the song you're talking about. It's, it's Jack Black, but... I ain't never seen the movie, man. Yada, yada, does it. Yada, yada, does it. Oh, come on. You let me duck below it. Get out of here. So once I see the movie, maybe I'll make a couple star alerts from the Mario movie. You guys seem to really like that peaches, 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 peaches. Oh, 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 yeah. I don't know if that's actually how he sings it. I just assume. I have a lot of super mushrooms to use. Might as well. 
this game even allows you to carry more inventory. But when you're Mario, and you just blow through every stage. Jack Black nailed it as a VA. Oh yeah, I bet he did. Can't wait to see it. Eris, welcome in. Look up the song. Well, it might be a spoiler. He sings it in the movie. If it comes out on like a streaming service and you got to pay to watch it, we'll definitely pay to watch it. I would much rather pay $15 for, you know, to buy it or whatever, $10, $5 to rent it than pay, I don't know, 25 or 30 bucks for movie tickets. So, and then people bring their kids to the movie theater and they're screaming and shiz like that. So tomorrow should be a, a nice uh movie expedition so princess in another castle something something i didn't see it where is it Get in there mario i always forget to bring a freaking tanuki tail here get out of here baba oh god Oh, I bet the movie's good. Everyone's talking about it all the time. I have to wait to see it, though. Ah, oh, it's the wrong one. It's the next one. How many times I play this and I still goof it up? Wind up bombs are to be bob bombs. Oh, that's true. They are. They do look different, don't they? Get up there. Yeah, it's a very high jump. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, I think those are the bombs. Oh, they don't have the fuse on top. That's why they look different. They're still the bombs, though. Now I can try to make this jump like I always do. Ugh. One day I will make that without a feather. Sorry, it's a leaf. Feathers are in Super Mario World. Now go. Run, run, run. Perfect. Isn't seen the movie yet? No, I haven't seen it yet either. We haven't seen it yet. We will eventually when it comes out on digital or Blu-ray or whatever. The review for Guardians 3 is coming. I need to rewatch a couple scenes to give an accurate score. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know, everyone I've talked to, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, it's great, perfect, the best in the trilogy. I mean, here's the thing. If James Gunn is going out the way he is, making a movie as good as it was, that is like a middle finger in a way to Marvel and Disney because he's exclusively now working with DC and WB. So, which I find funny because like we talked about, I think it was yesterday, the man knows how to direct. He knows how to do TV shows. He knows how to do movies and all that stuff. So hopefully at the very least out of every, let's say five movies that DC does, he can give us like at least four of those that are going to be really good you know i'm not saying that everything he touches will be gold but it'll be a hell of a lot better than what dc's been putting out for the last few years ray becomes a new palpatine they were just marvel biased ah okay that makes sense too yeah see i want to go into it with an open mind i don't want to sit here and be like because i'm not a marvel fanboy trust me i'm not um, because if a movie's not fun or really, I mean, if it's not a good movie or it's just an average movie, then I'll say so. I'm not going to be like, oh, I love it because it's Marvel, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you son of a biscuit. World 7 death, 7-4.
Is Zack Snyder really going to be going to Marvel? I have no idea. I swam right into it because he went right for me. I should have brought in a frog suit. Yeah, I don't think Snyder should be touching anything else. Superhero stuff. You can tell that guy's clearly in it for the paycheck. Why do they make Mario's hands white in this version? I don't like the glove look. They just left them green. Son of a... There are movie series I like that I'm disappointed in some of the movies. Yeah, I bet. I have returned. That should be a new, uh, oh, man. Oh my God. I don't know how I just did that. I think something Disney shouldn't have gotten Marvel. Really? I mean, they're constantly shoving Marvel content in our faces, man. There's really no break from it. All of Hollywood is literally superhero stuff. And Disney is at the helm of it. Marvel or a DC. The only way DC is going to be able to beat Marvel at this point is if they start bringing out triple A content and writing within their really deep, dark series is series is series like rated R stuff. They have to because then you're appealing to a much different audience. That's not Marvel. So he made Justice League a better movie than Joss Wheaton did. Oh, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. But see, Joss did pretty good. What what did he do? He did Ultron, right? Age of Ultron? Didn't he write that movie? I really feel like Marvel is killing Disney. Really? Disney is ruining everything. <laughs> Could have done Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire better. But they want to remake some of those movies. Like, nothing's original anymore. Oh, God. I don't know how I just did that, guys. Oh, but I got hit there? Come on. Hit detection is very uh, touch and go here. DC is being stubborn. They've got to start tapping into their rated R stuff. Yo, what's up, Mike? Marvel's too big of a franchise for Disney, and Marvel has way more following than Disney ever had on their own. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. They want to make them into HBO TV shows. Each book would be a season. Oh, okay. That's what they're trying to do. I did. I got it at the end, though. <laughs> Ah, it's this one. Dang it. Oh, I think I just did the wrong one. Oh, I did do the right one. Okay. Give me that Tanuki. Give me that. Thank you. I spread them out a little more so you can't see the other pipe right away. Because in the other ones, the pipes are really close by, so it could be like a confusing thing. Like, you don't know which one to go into right away. Oh, it's right there. Damn. I mean, Star Wars has a pretty big fan base, though. Albeit a lot of them are much older than the fan base that Disney normally goes for. So, yeah, why is it odd? It's been odd for a while. It's 99. It's been 99 for a hot minute, seven seasons in total. And not even to the same extent because even still Marvel had a bigger following. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Different fan bases, man. Much different fan bases. Disney has destroyed Star Wars. I blame Chris. Deathstroke, Bronze Tiger, and Project, uh, I'm going to say Kadamas would be perfect R-rated concept. Why in the holy hell have we have not gotten a standalone Deathstroke movie? Why? Seriously, you could just literally give us a serious version of Deadpool. 
I mean, maybe it's in the pipeline. I have no idea, but you know, I just don't know. I don't know if it's, I don't know. I really don't understand why we have not gotten a standalone Deathstroke movie yet. It's insane. 101 stars, but that's an odd amount of stars though, miss. Oh, shit, I have to use this one. Oh, it's Cadmus, okay. You're asking all the right questions. Seriously, why? Warning. I, I, I don't understand how that they haven't done a Deathstroke movie yet. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we got the Dark Knight trilogy. That was pretty violent. I mean, it wasn't rated R, but you know. Here's the thing, uh, the, whatever, the newer Suicide Squad movie, that literally shows you that if you have a good director, good writing, and a good budget, and a good group of actors and actresses, that you can do a good, successful, rated R movie or franchise within the DC universe. Just saying. Close enough to R. That stroke is meh. I mean, I guess. I mean, he broke his back. I broke you. Did you come back? I broke you. <laughs> and I'm sorry, and I'll have to agree with AVGM when he said it. The Dark Knight series is, is good, but it's literally just a cop drama with Batman in it. I mean, I, I don't know. But how? I broke you. But Chris will make it odd again. <laughs> I'm sure he will. <laughs> oh, that queen has spoken. Actually, both queens have spoken. You son of a plant. <laughs> you better go. Hurry up. Get your ass over there, Mario. Come on now. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. John, what's up, buddy? How are you, sir? Oh, my God. Please make it. I was gonna be top. That's what I was thinking too, man. I'm like, my man's gonna be top star with 88 stars. And Queen's like, I'll be on top. Wait a minute. Phrasing. Phrasing, as Eric always says. Oh my god. Star party challenge! Let's go! High ruler gaming. Welcome in. Damn going all right man how was yours speaking of r-rated i know <laughs> damn we finally got a stars party let's go Oy. Here I go. right again i've died twice already oh the queen says i have spoken once Jeez, again only makes it taste you oh. well I guess, uh, spicy hot sauce or the, or the toxic waste, my dear. Working Senior were live, had to come in and say hello. Well, thank you. She running away and it was faster than me. <laughs> Out the kitchen dying laughing at old man, Adam, I broke you. Old man, Adam, I broke you. <laughs> The queen says I'm on top. Is she going spicy? Like most women? <laughs> that was a hot take. <laughs> she got the royal even guardian slacking, I know. She's going to be like, you know what? Just for you saying that, drink that goddamn hot sauce. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm going to see what the queen says. I already know what my queen's going to say. She's going to say, you better drink that goddamn hot sauce. <laughs> Spicy. Oh. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. Yo, okay, so real quick. You're gonna be like, stop, stop, just stop right now. Don't even try to delay drinking the hot sauce. But, so the queen made air fryer chicken wings last night. Holy shit, they were good. 
She has this special concoction of sauce that she makes for the little smoky sausages. And I was dipping the wings in the sauce while I was eating them last night before I got on for uh, Fortnite. And I said, yo, you really need to put this sauce, like get a recipe and get this sauce so people can make it. And it has the Blaze hot sauce in it. So as soon as we're able to get that back in stock, she's going to literally make a recipe for the hot sauce, so for that, um, for that sauce to put, if you guys make wings or something like that. It was so good. Queen says, get down on your knees. Holy Jesus. All right. We're getting, getting a little spicy over here. All right. But she said, don't even think about trying to make it easy on yourself getting that sour candy. Get the hot sauce. It was good though, man. Air fryer wings are the shit for real. If I could turn these lights red, I would right now. Gonna need that recipe. It was so good. It was delicious. It wasn't even intended for the wings. It was meant for this little smoky sausages. But I started because I was watching the movie for a few minutes before I went on Discord last night and I was dipping the wings in the sauce. I was like, oh my God. She's like, what? I was like, you need to get a recipe for this. It was so damn good. She, has, has she ever thought of producing it commercially? Nope. Never. It was so good. I'm getting hungry right now as we're speaking. All right. Hot sauce as it is. Oh my God, that's way too much hot sauce. What the f is wrong with me? Mm Holy crap, it's way too much hot sauce. I couldn't even talk because there was so much in my mouth. Oh, that didn't sound right at all either. Oh, I would have died right there. Oh, too much. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, that's way too much hot sauce. Oh, my God. I can't believe I just did that. <clears throat> It's loved if Adam's dipping everything in it instead of the sausages. Oh, this nachos is busting. Yo, bro, I need some nachos. Oh, why is it so hot? Oh. Come on. Uh. <coughs> oh, it's too much hot sauce. Uh. What the hell is different from that jump and any other I did? Holy crap. Oh my God, there's way too much hot sauce. It's making my mouth like Let's salivate my eyes water. Oh, I will say for sure. Once we get the hot sauce back in stock, I guess you can adjust the level of heat. Oh man, there's way too much hot sauce. Houston, we have lift off death by hot sauce. Holy crap. I mean, it is our brand of hot sauce too, guys. Look, this is, it has our old logo on it. We're supposed to be getting some new ones. Holy crap, Ola, man. <clears throat> Since I don't know if we're going to be able to trigger another uh, stars party. At this point, for every 2,400 stars we get, I'll do the, the hot sauce or the sour candy. It don't even have to be a stars party. Oh, my God. Whew. An ultra instinct Goku would hit us, hit our goal for the weekend. Holy shnikes. Oh, God. And we just got our new batch of uh, the jelly beans in, too. They're sitting on my desk staring at me. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. I need this. I need to get the orb. Holy crap, dude. Yo, I love hot sauce. It's good, but I took way too much just now. Mario taking a dip in the hot sauce. <laughs> I call it... Uh, it's marinara sauce. Oh, my tongue is on fire right now because it's got habaneros in it. It's really good, but 
You're not meant to just drink hot sauce. So there's that. Could always set up a wheel to spin between hot and sour. I could. I like giving you guys a choice though, too. You guys find it more funny. Or you could. It's actually not a bad idea. I could give you guys a choice and you can ask me or I can just say, I'll spin the wheel. Eat the sauce, not the bottle. Ja, ja, ja. <laughs> All right, let me finish off World 7. We're not going to be able to get to World 8. Ugh. It's like the tip of my tongue is persistently burning. <laughs> it just doesn't stop burning. I need to take a shot of that Chinese mustard shot. I lost that best one. Oh, no, no, no. What's up, Ray? Let the wheel choose your fate. That is true. I could do that. As embarrassing as it would be, uh, I would actually love to hit the star goal this month just so Miss, Mrs. Blast can throw a pie in my face. Not that pie on stream, but like whatever. I can't even say it. I can't say the words cream pie because all of you be like, ooh, 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 ooh. but yes. What's up, Tim? Like an actual pie you buy from the store you throw it in somebody's face like a gag, like, I, I guess you would. Anyway, like. <laughs> Every single one of you have done this to me. Pie to the eye once we hit the star goal this month. In my eye. Green pie in the face. Giggity, giggity. Ugh. She'll just do a live stream on her phone and sit me in a chair outside and sit me in a chair. I, I can't even, I can't even say it. I cannot even say it without you guys going. <laughs> you said gag. <laughs> That's basically going to be it. Thank you, Chris. It'll be put ready whip with a 10 and she'll probably hit me really hard with it and I'll get mad because she'll hit me really hard with it. Oh, hey, Wilson. What's up, man? I swear, I've got, like, the most perverted freaking viewers on Facebook. <laughs> Open a, uh, a start a page and call it Only Pies. That's how about that. The fireballs literally do nothing to the freaking Koopa kids. Ah! Yeah, I'll bring in Beavis and Butthead when you say cream pie. <laughs> Oof, it's not Mjolnir. No, it's not. I'm gonna call it Only Pies. That's it. Whew. Maybe I shouldn't limit you guys. Maybe I really should do for every 2,400 stars. Because it's technically a stars party amount. I'll do the sauce or the, 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 the sour candy. I'll shower you the coconut cream pie. <laughs> they do. Just takes a while. Oh. I think I can finish this in like 20 minutes. Might as well finish the damn game. We're almost there. Maybe pie fans. <laughs> pie fans. Only blast pies. How about that? I have so much inventory. I don't want to waste the game and waste the inventory. That's already a thing. I don't ask me how. I just know. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting Mr. B with the pie. She's looking forward to hitting me with a cream pie. Damn it, why did I do that? I'm gonna call it Blast Pies. <laughs> this is the only one that looks like a real tank. Chilling in this hot ass weather. You should have heard Tim last night. Man, he gets competitive. My dude, he gets so competitive on Fortnite. Oh, come on, Mario, you fucking idiot. Damn it. He kept like turning around and ducking instead of just, you know, hitting the box. Jeez. My dude was like, oh, you mother, you're gonna get me with that nail? No, you not. This, he was just going off on people in Fortnite. Oh man, it was funny as hell though. Too funny. 
I'm sad I missed Fortnite. I know, man. Where was you? We did get a we did get one victory though, at least. We got a supreme victory. Yay! Oh man. Woof. Let's go. I can't leave y'all hanging. We gotta finish this. We're almost to the end, so I'm a hood, brother. What can I say? <laughs> it was funny as hell, man. Oh, you fudging mother trucker. Oh, so close. You think your saber gonna save you? You don't wanna know what I'm gonna do with your saber. <laughs> Yeah, basically, that's what he was basically getting like. I had a couple of good rounds, but I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't part of the victory royale. I was, him and I, we got stuck in the storm, so he was dead. Get a new switch because it's acting up. Oh, wasn't even paying attention. Didn't even realize he was there. I was looking at the chat. This morning, I bought the last piece of hardware for that PS4 controller. That I'm gonna buy for the goddamn thing. Something happened to the charging port on it. I think it's because I plugged in a cheap phone charging cord to it, and I I think I effed up the USB port. So I have to replace the USB port and the uh, ribbon cable. The reason why is because the controller powers on because the battery's giving it enough juice to start up, but it's not charging. I can't plug in a cable and charge it, and it refuses to be recognized by Windows when I use the USB cable. So I'm going to assume that I broke the USB port on it. I'm plugging in a cheap cable. We're almost at 150 reacts and almost a thousand comments, guys, just to let you know. So... Oh no, bro. You know better. You can swim under the ship, but that's a cheap shortcut. It is, man. I never have luck with that either. I always end up dying somehow. I just go through the stage. It's no big deal. Raging against the controller. I actually, uh, did, yeah, I have a... Oh, what is that nonsense? I have Anakin. At this point, uh, the ship has sailed for me not dying. I've already died, what, three times, guys, I think? All right, get out of here. Go through here. Oh, I hope I don't lose any item. Oh, crap. You know what? Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to unalive here. Oh, shiz. Because I think I'm going to get rid of a hammer suit by mistake. <clears throat> Okay, good. Never mind. <laughs> I have one spot for uh for an item. So I, I was hoping it wasn't gonna take away a hammer suit. Lucky. Perfect. You will not lose an item. Say your mother's your mother sucked clocks in hell. <laughs> it is such an effed up episode, man. Ooh. It's like Mario 3 is a sign of the devil. It's like, what? Where did he get this shit from? <laughs> oh, so now I would because... Oh, you know what? Whatever. Because it's just a leaf. I don't even care. <clears throat> Inventory full. Please discard an item. Wait, it, will it actually do that in this one? I don't think it will. Back out and use a star. Nah, it's all right. I'm going to use a star right here. Really? Whatever. Leaf or star? I use both. This, this, okay, so they slowed down this level. Holy God, like a bunch. This is not nearly as fast. This is the Game Boy Advance version of it on the Switch. I like the uh, rewind feature a lot. I wish they could integrate that part of it into... um. 
retro arch. Really? You find a million spots to land and that's the one you choose? You have a million spots to land on? That is a load of crap. I absolutely refuse to die. Here we go. <sighs> I'm glad it's him and not the Boomerang Brothers. I mean, that's still kind of quick. Yeah. It's still slower than the Super Nintendo or the NES version, though. Now, my favorite part of the whole game is right here, guys. Yeah, the NES version is the fastest. All right, we're going to use this. Use this. And we're going to use this. <laughs> All three clouds that I can find in the game are used right there. When you use the time stone, I picture the scene in Doctor Strange where he uses it on the apple to see how it works. Oh yeah, he keeps turning it and the apple keeps getting eaten and uneaten. And I got a bunch of pea wings too, so... <coughs> how useless that star power is in this level. Oh man. Ooh, that was close. Oh, come on, nah. So, subscribers, uh, just to let you guys know, I'm going to play the golf game tonight. So, if you guys want to join in, it's all open for the subscribers to join in. Unless I already maxed them out, and then I stop. I skip them with the clouds, too. Yeah. I always use the clouds there, or if I ha if I have to, I have enough P wings to use there too. So that fortress is bullcrap, by the way. I hate that fortress. Ooh. Mini mayhem! I can't wait. Ah, you punk! I knew he was gonna do that. Oh, thank you. I'll try to get fancy with him. That's how you lose Tanuki suits. I don't like getting the whistles. You know how much crap people give me every time I play this game? You didn't get the whistle. You didn't get the whistle. It's like, dude, I don't want the whistle because it takes up inventory space. And then if you try to use it, it literally screws you up because it makes you start a world all over again. Oh, yeah. Yes, yo, with 589 stars. Thank you so much. Amazing. Here we go. Yeah, the bosses are the easiest part of the game. He made it super duper even. 4K away from 50K at least. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God, don't touch my butt. Oh, I did it already. What's up, Jarek? How's it going, man? A Mega Man X victory away from 50k. All right, see if I can get him on the first try. That'd be great. The NES version of this castle is way more scary. Because when the lasers come out, they go... <laughs> and this one, it's just... it's there's not, There's no punch behind it. I don't know. Oh, no, you mother fudger. This top tiered, so you need a whistle. Yeah, exactly. Ridiculous. Get him over here. <clears throat> yeah, I just don't like the whistles. Like I said, people give me crap all the time because I don't get the whistles. 
I'm like, I have no need to get whistles, man. They do nothing for my inventory at all. They're terrible. Oh, look at you jumping. What's up, Tim? Thank you for the likes, my dude. And then there was the eternal pause if you weren't holding up on the D-pad in front of the door. <clears throat> Here after beating Bowser. Oh, really? Oh. <gasps> Holy crap. I don't know how I dodged that. <laughs> this is the second time, not the first time. Okay. Uh, look at this. Seriously, won't die. <laughs> Are you effing kidding me? Look at this shiz. Jeez. It's just the way I'm where I was standing, that's why. Eternally pause the game if you beat him, forcing you to restart the whole thing. I guess I got the zero virus. I've never done that before. Get in that damn door. Bowser is straight up. I know what you're doing, you little Italian mother. So when you're small Mario, you can actually stand next to Bowser. His hitbox is weird. Unless you got through the door to the princess and undo the curse so it doesn't pause and stay pause. That's unbelievable. The end. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> peaches, peaches, peaches. Dang, he ain't gonna be SMB4. Nope. Ooh, you know he ain't gonna be in Rush Hour 3. <laughs> Watch the ending. Ding, ding, titties, kick them titties out of here. Ding, ding, ding. You're welcome, Dean. I'm so glad that you made it for the stream, sir. So my my fellow golfers, if you guys want to hop in on the Discord soon, I'll jump on the on the odd chat. We can play some golf really soon, and uh, should be lots of fun. And then the Queen will be live tonight on her page around seven ish, six thirty seven ish, six forty five. She's gonna be playing some Free to Rage remake. Prince is another castle, Mario. Just like that. I'm a little over time because I wanted to finish the game. I was reading World 8 and I was like, F it, I'm just gonna play. So <clears throat> thank you, Chris, for the 11 stars. Super odd. My favorite. La 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 la. Bowser's Castle. Bowser. All these Mario games are movies. They are. They're all not real. They're not real. Yeah, almost two and a half hours. I never played this long on, on a regular stream. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, I hit the wrong button. She plays Streets of Rage 2. I think she's going to play Remake, uh, Dean. She likes Remake. <clears throat> so anyway, you guys have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. Um, subscribers, I'll see you guys soon. Everyone else, I'll see you guys on Tuesday night, 4 p.m. Eastern. And uh, what time are you golfing? Um, Probably like another in like another hour or so, Ben. Like an hour. So about 3.30 my time, I'll be on. Just because I ran over on this stream. So. so anyway, guys, have a good one. Thank you so much. Queen Anna is the top star of the stream. Appreciate you very much for all the support. Let's get another top star on the next stream. Let's try to hit that 75K for the weekend. Did I say golf? I did, sir. Yes. I know you got the golf game, Chris. So make sure you're ready to play, sir. Give top star to Rello. Oh, shit. Right. Give it to Mr. Rello Montana. I got you. Okay, for sure. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. Everyone else, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Subscribers, I'll see you all in about an hour. Have a good one. Thank you all so much. Peace out.